So happy Monday. I got a package from Ulta today. I ordered some things. And then I also got this package, which I think is going to be my dress for Crystal's wedding. My best friend is getting married this year. Um, and so I ordered the dress. I think that that's what this is, but I figured that we would open it together. If it's the dress, I'm not showing y'all what it looks like because, you know, it's for her wedding. I think this is it oh this is definitely it okay now I have to try it on tonight I'll try it on tonight so I can send her a picture in it Ulta let's open her up I ordered Ulta is having there I think it's called the big event sale um and originally I wasn't gonna get anything from there the reason I got something was because they had Olaplex on sale it was like two for 32 or something like that Originally, these are like $24 a bottle. I think they're like $24 a bottle. So I was like, let me go ahead and get some of this. I might actually get another set to like two more bottles. It doesn't go on sale often. So I got the shampoo, the number four and the number five, the conditioner and the shampoo. I also got... Oh, these were on sale. I These were the very first under eye patches I used by Earth Therapeutics. These are the collagen hydrogel under eye patches. Um, and these were two for $7 or something like that. So I got two packs. There are five in each pack. Got those. Also really needed a sharpener. Oh, I thought this had like a top. Oh, it does. I was about to say on the website, this has a top. But I guess the top came off in transit. This is the NYX sharpener. Just a regular old sharpener because I lost my other one. Don't know where it is. I've looked everywhere. And then lastly, I got the Fenty Beauty um, Diamond Balm all over Veil. All over Diamond Veil. Because I saw this girl on TikTok use it. She had on like... A dress and she got a brush and she put it like on her shoulders and I was like it ended up really pretty on her so I want to do that this summer I want to use this oh this packaging is so pretty glitter flex and the packaging is really pretty but yeah I got it because I just want to use it for the summer there you go you can kind of see like the the shimmer in it there but yeah that's gonna be my little summer thing um, but yeah, that's all I got from Ulta. I figured I would treat myself, you know, why not? Because I hadn't really purchased anything from there in a long time. By long time, I mean like maybe a month or two, which is a pretty long time. So that is what I got in the mail today. I'm going to put these back in the box and I'll put them up later. I just finished making some juice, some more juice. So my ginger, my mango, my grapes, apples. Is that all I put in there? my rise and shine juice i finished making some because i was running out so i filled up my bottles and put those in the fridge that's what you just saw but yeah it's tuesday night i kind of want to watch i don't really want to watch a show i kind of just want to watch like a youtube video and go to sleep pretty early because you know i'm just 
feeling like getting in the bed you know that's how i feel so i'm gonna call it a night i went to target because i needed to re-up on some stuff um i needed some more clorox disinfecting wipes so i got a pack of those i needed some more lysol um what are these called toilet cleaners you just hook these to the side of your toilet keeps it fresh i got some they didn't give me a receipt oh it's on the app and i got some notorium multi-glow body um multi-oil the glow getter multi-oil body butter so i got that i kind of want to open it just to see what it looks like but i want to bring y'all down y'all know that i love notorium's products i love their body washes i love their this packaging is actually really nice too i love their body washes i love their lotion their biolipid lotion so i am excited to see this i actually saw it on twitter first and i was like wait a minute wait a minute Ooh. okay look at that consistency oh that looks great I'm going to use it tonight when I get out the shower. But I'm really excited. And I was surprised that they still had some in store. It's thick too. Oh, this is a good side by side. Let me show you. This one is with the body oil. This one is nothing. So this is my hand here. This one's with the body oil. This one is not. There you go. There's the comparison. You can see the shine on this one um but i'm gonna actually test it out tomorrow and i'll let y'all know my thoughts on it actually i'm gonna test it out tonight and tomorrow and i'll let you guys know my thoughts on it um do i want to tell y'all this in the next vlog i'll tell you now and then i may tell you in the next vlog too my plan now is to transition from like the 40 i try to aim for like 40 to 45 minutes or like 45 minutes to an hour vlogs because i thought that longer vlogs um that y'all would like longer vlogs like 45 minutes to an hour but i had to put that down because i today i like literally took off my audience hat like how i view vlogs and how i view different creators on here and put on my creator hat so like stop looking at it as if i'm the audience for my own videos because i'm not so i was thinking about it today and i was like i feel like shorter vlogs are gonna be better like still keeping my same schedule wednesday and sunday but just shorter vlogs so now instead of like 45 to an hour i want my vlogs to be like 20 minutes no more than 30 more no more than 30 because you know, I just think people's attention spans are a lot shorter. And I think that uh, people are more likely to watch like those 45 minute to hour vlogs if they have built um, a kind of relationship with the person that they're watching. But right now, I don't feel like I have that on my channel. So I think I, that's something that I still need to build, like getting people to actually watch my content. So that's why I'm gonna make shorter vlogs i'll instead of the hour i'm just gonna do like 20 to 30 minutes no more than 30. this vlog however may be longer than the 30 one but this is gonna be the last one for a while until i see like a difference uh being made so yeah just wanted to let y'all know just in case you are one of the people who watch my vlogs consistently if you do thank you for watching them thank you for everything seriously uh commenting liking everything um but until we can grow an audience i'm just gonna like cut back some as far as the timing is concerned so yeah that's where we are that's a little channel update
I just fixed myself a juice. If you watched my previous vlog, you saw how I made this. It's just pineapples, ginger, mango, apples, and grapes, purple grapes, uh, all pressed together. And I strain them to make myself a juice. So she's cute, fixed that this morning. Um, I'm still home. Typically I would be on my way to work right now, but I'm still home because I'm waiting on a package. I have a package coming today that I have to sign for. It is a birthday gift and I believe I know what it is. I'm not gonna open it today because I wanna do like a full unboxing separate video. If it's what I think it is, y'all are gonna see in this vlog. The package is here. This is the box. And then it's also a birthday gift, so I've been debating whether or not I wanna wait until my birthday. But my birthday is like in another three weeks, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and open it. Um, I'm really excited, but I'm gonna leave it. Now I'm going to work. Um, I have to dog sit tonight. I'm gonna be watching um, someone's dog. So y'all may see some of her, but now we go to work. Toodles. All right, y'all, so I'm about to open this air fryer. If y'all watched a previous vlog, I got this from work. I got this from work. Um, it's by Crux, 75% less fat, eight quart digital air fryer. So I wanna open it because I'm just kinda tired of this big, huge box sitting on the floor. So I was like, let me go ahead and open her. Let me put it where y'all can see it. So this is the inside and it has the instruction manual in here. I guess this is a liner for when you wanna like cook stuff in here. It doesn't, maybe it doesn't go in this. Oh, I'm pretty sure actually. Now that I feel it, it doesn't go in this part. It will go in here, I'm assuming. Um, but yeah, this is the air fryer. Being that I don't have a ton of counter space, I'm going to keep it in a cabinet uh, probably down there with my pots. Although, I think it's pretty full down there because I have my flower bases there. So maybe not by the pots, but I am gonna keep it in the cabinet uh, instead of keeping it on the counter because this thing is pretty big and it's gonna take up a, a bulk of my counter, oops, my counter if I keep it on the counter. But yeah, I just wanted to empty that box because I was getting tired of, of like moving it around, you know, like just, just open the box, Shakira, just open the air fryer and get rid of the box. So that's why. Also y'all, I got a sandwich press. A sandwich press by Gotham Steel. And I got this because my coworker was like, do you want a sandwich press? And I was like, why not? So got mm -hmm. this. So I can throw this box away too. I'm really just trying to clean out my kitchen because I have just stuff in here. So I just want it to be organized again. But this is the sandwich press. It actually reminds me of like the George Foreman from back in the days. Do y'all remember the George Foreman grills? But this one, like say you make a sandwich, even if you made like a peanut butter and jelly, you just, you know, put it in there, press it, and you have a nice toasted sandwich so i got that well right now i'm about to make a matcha tomorrow i have to speak on a panel i don't know if i told y'all that i did i was on a panel uh maybe like two weeks ago i think it's like two weeks ago now for my job it's on my instagram page if you want to see it um but yeah i was on a panel i didn't vlog it and then i got asked to do this panel tomorrow which is for the Black Women's Film Network. And the panel, I think, don't quote me, I think the panel is about like uh, breaking into the business. I think it's called Getting Your Foot in the Door. I think, yeah, that's the name of it. It's called Getting Your Foot in the Door. 
Uh, so I'm gonna be on that panel tomorrow. I need to see what time I need to be there. I need to do my hair, I need to do my nails. Um, I did my toes already. Um, I wanna wash my makeup brushes. I have so much to do tonight in preparation for that tomorrow because i don't know what time i'm supposed to be there and i also want to film a couple of videos tomorrow too so we're gonna have a bit of a busy weekend but it's good busy this is a good busy so i'm not complaining at all um i was oops i was tweeting earlier because i had this thought that has kind of been like with me for a while and the thought is about like uh multitasking and also anxiety i have always been a person who like multitasks not because i love multitasking i don't love it at all but i have just always been a multitasker and i think it's because like school work you're expected to be able to multitask like even when you look at certain job descriptions one of the descriptions is like must have the ability to multitask like you know but i have been thinking about that recently and just how it kind of like brings anxiety like multitasking because at least for me because there's like okay there's so much i have to do i need to do this i need to file my taxes i need to edit this video i need to call that person back about that meeting i need to set this appointment i need to do this i need to do that 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 that, that. One thing that I have found that has helped me so much, so, so, so much, is stopping multitasking. Just don't do it. Don't do it. What has helped me is like making lists. So I have a notebook now that I just, whenever I have a thought of like, okay, I need to do this, instantly I'm like, write it in the notebook. <laughs> like get it out of your head and get it onto paper get it out of your head and onto paper and i say that a lot like just instead of thinking about stuff consistently and it just taking up a bulk of your thoughts just write it down and like once you start writing stuff down you realize most times it's not even that deep or it's like not as much as you think it is so i'm like oh i need to do this 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 and it feels overwhelming just thinking about all of the stuff that i have to do but once you write it down and you look at it on the paper usually i'm like oh it's not even that bad or it's not that much that i have to do um but back to multitasking i have stopped multitasking i'm not doing it i give it up like i'm not doing it because you something is not going to uh whatever you don't give your full attention is gonna suffer in some way. I do believe that. Like, if you don't give certain things your full undivided attention, you're not allowing the potential to reach, you know, its peak, like its greatness, because you're also trying to do three other things at the same time. So I was just tweeting that one thing that has helped me so much is not multitasking. And I said that I write a list and I move forward with my list based on what's most important. So like order of importance, is this important? Is this the most important? If it is, I'll start with that and just go like that, whatever in order of most important to least important. And that has just helped me so much. And I still have moments where I'm like, I find myself even something as small as, oh, I can be working on something on the computer and also watching something on tv even something as small as that i'm like too many of my senses are being triggered right now like i need to cut some stuff off cut some stuff off if you have the ipad going and the tv cut the tv off or cut the ipad off if you're on your phone and on the tv and on the ipad or on your laptop cut one of them off because it's multitasking and it's taking you away from a full experience of something just my thoughts
now. Hope you're happy now. I wish I could bank on us, on us. You can get none by by run, baby, by. I can get the real love all your time. I just need your heart to see. I just need the air you breathe. Play, uh, play with me, baby. Play with me, baby. Play with me, baby. Play with me, baby. Play a little game with you. Ah, uh, 'cause if you wanna stay, then I'll you play. play oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You playing with my eye? Good morning. So I just put my clip-ins in. I washed my hair last night and I washed these clip-ins last night too. Well, yesterday afternoon, I washed my hair last night and braided it up, left some leave out in the front. So I think I'm gonna wear these clip-ins up until I figure out what I wanna do with my hair for my birthday, because my birthday's coming up. So once I figure out what I want to do with my hair, then I'll like get the clip-ins a break because I don't know what I want to do. Unless I do the clip-ins for my birthday too. I don't know. I just want to be in like a, a low maintenance hairstyle. I know I want to get braids in May because I'm going to a wedding, uh, a wedding in Mexico in May. So I want to have braids for that because I don't want to think about my hair at all. Uh, but this morning, I'm about to do my makeup. I just took my eye patches off and I just put some Pond's moisturizer where they were already moisturized the rest of my face. I'm going to the Black Women Film Network, AKA BWFN. Uh, it's the name of the organization here. I think it's just in Atlanta. I'm not sure if it's um, elsewhere, but I know for sure it's, I think it's Atlanta based. And I'm going to their, uh, it's like a summit that they have annually every year. I went last year. Last year, I just went as an attendee. This year, I'm going as a panelist. I'm gonna do the ELF Power Grip Primer. Um, but I'm going as a panelist for, it's a 315, I think it starts at 315. And the name of the panel is Lights, Camera, Action, How to Get Your Foot in the Door. So basically that's what we're gonna be talking about, how to get your foot in the door in the industry. I still find it so crazy that like, I get asked questions like that, like how to get your foot in the door because I still feel like I don't know. Not that I don't know, but I just still feel like I'm so new, you know? I've been working now for Officially, my first job was in like March of 2021. So this month, it will be three years, which feels like a long time and a short time at the same time. A long time because when you're working, it feels like a long time and you do like these different projects and stuff. But three years is also very short. So, you know, in a way I look at it like, wow, Three years, this is what you've accomplished. Just imagine like three more years. Um, I don't talk about my career trajectory much on this channel, but one thing that I do wanna do, like I wanna hone in on, really, really, really focus on is writing, directing. I'm learning a lot currently about producing, but I really wanna hone in on writing, directing, I want to write my own stuff, direct my own stuff, you know, and direct other people's stuff too. But definitely like, you know, just leaning into that. I want to lean into that more. One thing that I'm focusing on this year for sure, um, because right now the path that I'm on is leaning me towards, if I keep going the way that I'm going, I'll, I know that I'll be producing, but I'm not quite sure that I'll be writing and directing and i just want to do everything that i put my mind to like every goal that i have i want to accomplish it i want to see if i can do it and so i just don't want to lean on oh i know that i'll be producing this in this amount of years so i'll just keep going this way when i know in my heart of hearts that i also want to write and direct you know, like I have stories to tell, stories that I want to tell. 
and I'm gonna tell them. I'm gonna tell them. I saw this clip on Instagram yesterday of Issa Rae, and it was back when she was like in her awkward black girl era. I used to watch that, me and my best friend, Shantae actually, we used to watch Awkward Black Girl. And that was back in the day day. That was like early YouTube. And it was so funny. And now it's just like, look at her now. Like back then, I never would have thought, you know, this would be Insecure Issa Rae, Via Rae Issa Rae, Who Rae Media Issa Rae. And in her clip, she was saying that procrast or excuses. She was like, I'm the excuse queen. Like I'll think of every excuse not to do something. And she realized that really the power was in her hands. And that's one of the, the terms that I'm coming to recently is that nobody is holding me back and nobody is saying, hey, you can't do this. You can't do that. I'm telling myself that I can't do something. And so I'm just determined to stop getting in my own way and stop telling myself that something is not possible and just actually doing the thing. the summit um, and I just filmed an unboxing video hence the cameras so y'all will actually hold on I'll show y'all anyway and if you want to watch the unboxing video you can but at least you'll have like first dibs but I just unboxed my birthday gift it is still March it's March 23rd to be exact but it was a bag and it was the bag that I have wanted forever, which is a monogram speedy bandolier 30 with the strap. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Tonight I have to order a bag insert for it just because um, I want it to be able to hold its shape. So I'm gonna order one off of Amazon. I already know which one. I already know which one. So I'm so excited, y'all. I'm so excited, but I actually have to film. Um, I want to do an unboxing for my reels, so I kind of need to. I'm gonna have to fake it, I'm gonna put it back in because I unboxed it first on the video, which I'm gonna put out on my birthday. Um, 
but I unboxed it on the video, so now I have to fake it. I need to put it back in the dust bag so I can make a reel um, for it. But yeah, I'm about to do that, and I'll talk to y'all in a second because I do want to debrief about the event that we were just at. Happy Sunday. I have not forgotten that we were supposed to debrief after yesterday's uh, event. So basically, I was on a panel at the Black Women Film Network, which is an organization here in Atlanta, which is kind of self-explanatory. It's for black women in film. Um, they have an annual event. So it's like a weekend of events. Friday, I did not attend. Yesterday, I attended um, the luncheon and the panel that I was to speak on, my panel that I was on was called Lights, Camera, Action, How to Get Your Foot in the Door. So we talked about that. It was just a beautiful, beautiful time. Like Gail Bean was honored. Y'all know Gail Bean from Snowfall and Pea Valley. She did a beautiful speech. I'm sure y'all saw that before this. I did not even realize I have been passing this lady all day, right? I have been passing, not Gail Bean, but it was just this lady I have been passing all day beautiful spirit like really like beautiful energy a lot of energy y'all i did not know that the lady was ingenue from literally everything i did not know that was her she was there with a director promoting um a movie that they're trying to make about fanny lou hamer great actress even better person um who else was there i believe her now her name is pronounced Actually, I don't want to mess it up. She is the showrunner of Reasonable Doubt, which I love. She was honored. Um, she was cool, too. It was just a really good time. And I just felt really good being in the room with other black women who do what you do. We're like, I just feel refueled about the whole thing. But we'll talk about that more, hopefully, a little bit later. Today is going to be the last day of the vlog. But right now, we are going on a walk, which is why I have on this Nike sweatsuit we're going on a walk it's a little chilly outside so i didn't want to be cold um but let's go You can never kill my vibe But there is no sacrifice Everything won't take it You have to make it Vibe killer Me and no go take shit Vibe killer So do y'all remember these? When you make a wish And you blow them off So I want to make a wish just got back from my walk i feel so good i really like walking and exercise is one of those things that you don't really want to do you have to make yourself go do it but you always feel so good after you finish like if i can just do this maybe not every day every other day i would be great i would be gucci um but i'm about to drink this lemon perfect y'all know crystal put me onto these she put me onto the blue ones that are just the lemon flavor i didn't even know they had other flavors this one is strawberry passion fruit they have lemon they have like a coconut one and a dragon fruit those are the ones that i have seen so far i have a few at work oh i did want to tell y'all i finished my book so i finished this book today by colleen hoover it's called ugly love I'm not gonna lie, for a while there, it was feeling like a drag, but once you get like near the end, it's like, okay, the story starts like picking up because after a while I was like, okay, where's the climax? Like I felt the pages getting thinner and thinner and I'm like, okay, where's the story gonna come? But I am gonna film a book review for this. I wanna get back to my book reviews. I only have one posted so far, which was for um, this ends with us by also by Colleen Hoover. So I need to film and record a uh, Review for this book before I forget what happens because Yeah, I need to film that so I'll do that and then next I'm gonna be reading this book that Abigail gave me. Let me get it Found it 
Here's the book. It's called Before I Let Go by Kennedy Ryan. Abigail gave me this book. She says it's one of her favorite books. So I need to let her know that I'm gonna start it. I'm probably gonna start it tomorrow while I'm on like my, my kick, while the wheels are turning because we're supposed to be reading it at the same time. So I need to let her know that. But that is it for this vlog. I'm gonna sit here, read, not read, my Lemon Perfect, drink my Lemon Perfect. Probably watch some YouTube videos until Real Housewives of Potomac comes on tonight. And that is gonna be my day. It was a nice, peaceful, relaxing day, which is what I wanted for, um, you know, my Sunday. I wanted my Sunday to be very calm and relaxing. And that's what it was. Thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next one. I don't wanna tell you to drop it. But I don't wanna play your face. Yeah.